Okay, so today we're going to be talking about the very important emotion of disgust. Throughout my time doing this project, I have found that disgust is a very positive and natural emotion that is made to protect humans against anything that can be harmful. So in the video, for example, um, TED Talk presenter David Pizarro, he showed the crowd of people pictures of feces and he also showed them pictures of decaying flesh. So naturally someone would find these disgusting, um, which is a positive thing. So when you're disgusted by something, you usually stay away from it. So by staying away from these, you are protecting yourself from anything that could potentially be harmful by messing or touching with these, especially the decaying flesh. So in the video, David Pizarro links being more disgusted in adulthood to being more conservative. So the easier you are to discuss, the more conservative you usually are. So in other words, liberals are very hard to discuss than any other political party out there. So how he did this was he got a group of random people from all different political parties and he asked them things such as, would you be very disgusted, um, mildly disgusted, kind of disgusted or not disgusted at all if you're drinking a bowl of your favorite soup that had been stirred by a used but thoroughly washed flash water or walking through a tunnel smelling like here and how disgusted are you likely to be. Another cool thing about disgust is that it's also seen in its early stages as babies. So for example if you hand a baby a lemon and they're eating it they're gonna have that ew I don't like this kind of face like this is disgusting. And that same face is seen in adulthood, just more along the lines of with political parties and those views. Another thing was that disgust is a very universal trait. If you show a picture to someone in America of someone who's disgusted and you showed that same picture to someone in Africa, they would both say, hey, that person is very obviously disgusted. It's a very universal trait just based strictly on a person's facial expressions. My presenter was David Pizarro. He is a research psychologist. Um, that basically means that he spends his time thoroughly researching specific psychological fields such as developmental psychology, biological psychology, social psychology, um, emotional psychology, and he spends most of, most of his time working with data like the ones he found with the political parties. Um, the research results are then helpful in making more advancements with understanding how specific things work together. So research psychologists need a minimum of a degree in psychology, a PhD, and a license to be a psychologist. Um, you must continue your education past a bachelor's degree if you wish to be a research psychologist.